see your hands up. With your hands, begin to thank God for his goodness, for his protection, for his strength, for his presence in our means, for his angels that are in our means. Begin to thank him for the life you are living. Thank him for the protection over your families. Thank him for being there in your job. Thank him for being there in your marriage. Thank him for being there in our presence. Begin to appreciate him for your healings, for your deliverance, for your blessing, for his favor in your life, for his favor in your family, in Jesus' mighty name. Just turn and face a neighbor next to you with a smile on your face. Say, neighbor, it is well. Say, neighbor, it is well. It is well, neighbor. Worry not. Bother not. For he is present. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Have your wonderful seat in the presence of our Lord Jesus. Asseyons-nous dans la présence du Seigneur. God bless you all. Que Dieu vous bénisse tous. I'm by name son of prophet Isaiah. Je suis par nom, je m'appelle fils du prophète Isaïe. 
by the special grace of our Lord Jesus, et par la grâce spéciale de notre Seigneur Jésus Christ, under the grace of my spiritual fathers, sous la grâce de mes pères spirituels, I am here je suis ici to give you what God has given me. Pour vous donner ce que Dieu m'a donné. I'm here to strengthen your faith. Je suis ici pour fortifier votre foi. I'm here to bring solution to what you are looking for. Je suis ici pour apporter la solution à ce que the vous recherchez. The issue is away together. Le problème c'est que est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? Where is your heart? Où est ton cœur? If your heart is somewhere, bring it back. Si ton cœur est ailleurs, amène-le ici maintenant. Your heart, ton cœur, is the only medium. C'est le seul moyen, le seul instrument. We can communicate. Par lequel on peut communiquer. Your heart, ton cœur, is the only medium. C'est le seul instrument. We can communicate. Avec lequel on peut communiquer. Is your heart here? Est-ce que ton cœur est ici? Your heart is here. Est-ce que ton cœur est ici? If your heart is here, let me see your hands up. Si ton cœur ici, que je vois tes mains en l'air. Offense of the past. La douleur, douleur du passé. Gossiping. Le commérage. Envy. L'envie. It is what would take away our heart. C'est ce qui va amener nos no cœurs. Just open your heart and begin to forgive. Ouvre ton cœur, commence à pardonner. Those who have wronged you. Ceux qui t'ont offensé. Those who have offended you. Ceux qui t'ont hurté. Begin to forgive them. Commence à leur pardonner. Begin to forgive them. Commence à leur pardonner. Remember the Bible says in Matthew. Tu viens de la Bible déclare dans Matthieu. That only the pure in heart shall see God. Que seulement les cœurs purs. So if your heart is not pure. Donc si ton cœur n'est pas pur. Then we'll be making noise here. Donc c'est pour dire que tu vas se But if your heart ici. is pure. Mais si ton cœur est pur. There is something that will change your destiny. Il y a quelque chose qui va changer. There is something that will turn your destiny round. Il y a quelque chose qui va changer ta destinée. Yes. As a Christian, en tant que chrétien, where is your heart? Où est ton cœur? The mentality and mindset, la mentalité et la pensée, as a Christian, en tant que chrétien, is what has limited so many of us. C'est ce qui a limité beaucoup d'entre nous. The mentality, la mentalité, and your mindset, et ta pensée, as a Christian, en tant que chrétien, is what has limited many of us as Christians. C'est ce qui t'a limité en tant que chrétien. Your mind. Ta pensée is where God communicate to you. C'est où Dieu communique avec toi. So if your mind is disturbed, donc si ta pensée est dérangée, your mentality cannot work. Ta mentalité peut pas marcher. Because marquer. your mind control your mentality. Parce que ta pensée contrôle ta mentalité. Remember, souviens-toi. That for God to speak to you, que pour que Dieu te parle, you must have a free mind. Tu dois avoir une pensée libre. A free heart. Un cœur libre. Before God can speak to you, avant que Dieu ne te parle. Many of us, beaucoup d'entre nous, beaucoup d'entre nous, when we are in the presence of God, quand nous sommes dans la présence de Dieu, our mind are choked with a lot of things. Nos pensées sont troublées par beaucoup de choses. Offense, gossiping, lies, telling. L'offense, le, le, le mensonge. Think about our jobs. On pense à notre travail. We think about what we did yesterday. On pense à ce qu'on a fait hier. By the exchanges of words, on pense à ce que les... it is not this physical looks. Ce n'est pas cette apparence physique. It is not your beautiful faces. Ce n'est pas vos vos beautés physiques. It is not your handsome faces. Ce ne sont pas vos vos beautés physiques. It is your spirit mind. C'est votre esprit. Your spirit is what God is in need of. Dieu a besoin de votre esprit. God is not in need of your physical presence. Dieu n'est pas Dieu n'a pas besoin God de ton corps physique. Mais Dieu a besoin That's de ton why the Bible says C'est pour ça que la Bible déclare that those who serve God, que ceux qui servent Dieu spirit, ils doivent le servir en esprit in et en vérité. Remember blessings Souviens-toi les bénédictions come first in the realm of the spirit. viennent d'abord premièrement dans le règne de l'esprit. Many of us, we are blessed. Beaucoup d'entre nous, nous sommes bénis. We are favored. Nous sommes favorisés. We have been married already. Nous sommes, nous sommes déjà mariés. Mais we are not blessed. Mais physiquement, physically, we are still looking for husbands. Mais physiquement, nous cherchons encore des mariés. Physically, we are still looking for wives. Mais physiquement, nous cherchons encore des femmes. Why? Pourquoi? The spirit, l'esprit, is not connected with God. N'est pas connecté avec Dieu. Say neighbor. Dis voisin. What is your mentality and mindset as a Christian? Quelle est ta mentalité et ta pensée en tant que chrétien? Again. Encore une fois. What is your mentality? Quelle est ta mentalité and mindset et ta pensée as a Christian. en tant que chrétien? Let's open our Bible into the book of Ephesians. Non, Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Verse 1. Ephesians 4. 
verset 23 et 24. Je lis dans l'Esprit du Seigneur. « À être renouvelé dans l'esprit de votre intelligence. » 24. « Et à revêtir l'homme nouveau, créé selon Dieu, dans une justice et une sainteté que produit la vérité. » Amen. « Your heart and your mind must be made completely new. » Your heart and your mind must be made completely new. Verse 24. You must put a new self which is created in God, lightness, and revealed itself in the true life that is upright and holy. Remember, the Bible is the standard. Souvenez-vous, la Bible c'est le standard. The standard of life. Le standard de la vie. The Bible. La Bible is the standard, le standard of life. De la vie. Let me see your Bible up. Que je vois ta Bible en l'air. Raise your Bible up. Élève ta Bible en l'air. When you see some people, quand tu vois certaines personnes, they dress very well. Il s'habille très bien. Come in the presence of God. Et vient dans la présence de Dieu. They don't have the Bible. Et ils n'ont pas de Bible. The standard of life is the Bible, the word of God. Le standard de la vie, c'est la parole If de Dieu. If you don't have a Bible, si tu n'as pas une Bible, why are you here? Pourquoi donc es-tu ici? If you were to go to the farm, si tu vas aller au champ, will you go to the farm without a machet? Est-ce que tu ne vas pas aller au champ avec une hoe? Sans la machet ou sans une hoe? These are the tools that help a farmer Ça, ce sont les to work in the farm. You as a Christian, Toi, en tant que Christian your own tool is the Bible. Ton Where tu sais is ta Bible. your Bible? Where is your Bible? The standard of life le standard de la vie. is the word of God. La parole de Dieu. The Bible says la Bible déclare our heart que nos coeurs, our heart is where God dwells. Nos coeurs, où Dieu demeure. Our mind is our souls, our spirit. Notre pensée, notre esprit, notre... When God dwells in our heart, Quand Dieu demeure dans nos coeurs, it produces fruit of the spirit, il produit les fruits which is our soul qui est notre âme, and our spirit. Et notre esprit. When our heart is being renewed, Quand notre coeur est renouvelé, our mentality and mindset notre pensée et notre change because the word change. of God Parce que la parole is de the Dieu, direction la direction of life. De la vie. The word of God la parole de Dieu is the fruitfulness of life. La de la the vie. word of God is the blessings of life. There is no way you can achieve blessings here on earth if this word is not being transformed into spirit form. Our mentality today as Christians has limited so many of us today. We are in the presence of God. But we are not working according to our mentality. Nous pas selon notre Our mentalité. mentality is focus of things of the world. Notre mentalité est Our sur mentality monde. is not focus on God. Notre mentalité pas sur That's Dieu. why you see Christianity today has become disaster. Pour ça que la There est is a disaster. lot of confusion in Christianity today. Il y a de confusion dans la When your mindset and mentality Quand ta pensée, ta is not controlled by God, pas there par is Dieu. a lot of mistakes and errors in the presence of God. That's why you see so many of us we have entered into errors. We have entered into mistakes. Why? Because our mindset is not according to God's word. Our mentality is not according to God's word. Today, laziness has been into the body of Christ today. Many of us we go to church, but we don't want to work. As a Christian, there is a mentality and a mindset. That mindset of laziness is not of Christians. The Bible says, God shall bless us out of our handwork. Moses, God uses message there was a tools. God used it to bless Moses to divide the Red Sea. Elisha, 
There was a mantle in the hands of Lisha. God used that mantle. The children of Israel. You, what is your own? What is your own mantle? What are you doing? A lie that you are asking God to use that thing to bless you. What are you doing? As a Christian, what are you doing? There is a lot of confusion and disasters in Christianity today. Because we don't want to work. We expect automatically blessings from where? God can never bless you without you having something on your palms. He said, I use this what you have and multiply it. Jesus, Jesus, he took loaves of bread, bread and multiply it and fed thousands of people. What are you having? There is a lot of confusion into the body of Christ today because our mindset is not according to God's word. We don't want to walk. You will see a servant. You come and you are you don't want to walk and you expect when you ask him, why do you want why don't you want to walk? God is the author of blessings. God is always aware of my situation. He will surprise to me. God will surprise what to you. It is time for us to change that mentality and mindset. Go out. The Bible says we are the head, not the tail. Who is the head? We Christians, we are the head, not pagan. We are the head. We need to go out and show the people of the world. We own all gold and silver. We own everything here on earth. When I will reach in the company where the manager is an occultic with the gold you carry it, and the spirit of God is on, on me, I rule the world. I dominate the world. Blessing is my portion. Favor is my portion. When I go out, I don't come back the same. Because I know I carry God. Today, in just today, if you want to see women and men in search of husbands, it is in church, churches. You will see hundreds out of 100 people, there are 75 looking for husbands in churches. When you ask, Mama, why are you not yet married? I am waiting for God time. Which God time? Which God time are you waiting? God time is the best. Which God time is the best? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah 1 verse 18, come and let reasons go out and look for what you like bring it to God and answer ask him questions father this is what I brought before you as your word says bring whatever you come and let's reason together I have brought what I like I have come to show you father is it your will if it is not the will of God God sees the future he will tell you the future is dangerous. My daughter, the future is dangerous. This one is not okay. You, we should forget about that mentality to say, I want to, God should show me my husband. There are few cases that God reviewed their husbands because of the future they have. Because of the destiny the people have. It is not everyone that God needs to review your husband. It is not everyone that God needs to review your wife. Go out and search. God is spirit. He is in heaven. He is not the one to come and live with that husband here with you. You are the one to live with the husband here. You need to know and study the husband. And you see somebody that came in the house of God at the age of 18. You will see 35. I am still waiting for the appointed time of God. You will see 36. I am still waiting at the appointed time of God. You will see 40. I am still waiting at the appointed time of God. This one I brought. No. This one I brought. No. This one I brought. God has not spoken. At the end, you will not marry your will. You will marry second choice. As a Christian, 
your mentality and your mindset Ta is very, pensée. very important as a Christian. Sont très en tant que Christian. Go to churches. Va dans les the highest poverty La plus is in churches. À the highest poverty is in churches. You will look people in churches very healthy, but there is nothing. There is nothing. When you ask, you say, I am waiting for God times. So when God time come, the blessing will come and multiply. Be waiting for God time. When God time come, the blessings will come and multiply. At the age of 50, the blessings will come and multiply. At the age of 60, the blessings will come and multiply. We should remove that mentality of laziness. On a Keep it aside. Let's go out and prove to the world that we carry God. The God that controls blessings. The God that controls all favor. Let's go out. Whatever you have, use that medium to express to people around you that you carry God. The highest poverty is found in churches. Why? We don't want to work. We don't want to work. I am not saying that you should abandon your work of God. And you go and be looking for money. There is time for God. And there is time to work. When it is time for God, you give your full time for God. When it is time for work, you give your full time for that work. And use that work as a medium to preach gospel to others. Even you are selling table market. Use that table market to preach gospel. Because it is through that table market that God will use to bless you. There are people that have discovered them. I knew them very well with table market. But they have supermarket today. There are people that they bless them with 10,000. But today, they are in shops and boutiques. Today, when they bless you with the 10,000, what do you do with that 10,000? What do you do with the 10,000? If the Bible says that out of a handwork, God shall bless us, what do you do with that 10,000? Many of us, when money is Inside our pocket, our mentality and minds change. Notre pensée, notre change. We start seeing things that we were not seeing. Our mentality starts focusing on far distances. Et nos Why, nous when we nous were nous not having money, nous our nous mentality nous was not seeing that side. Notre but when, when money comes, the mentality changes. This is what is destroying all of us today as Christians. Ce qui nous en tant que People of God. We should use what we have to exploit the world. We should use what we have to tell the world that we have a God that supplies all blessings. We should use what we have and preach gospel to others. If you are not doing nothing, if I stand before you to preach gospel, I am not dressed well. How will you join me to come and know my God? Why my own shoes does not even resemble the God I am serving? My way does not even resemble the God, but I carry God in me. The physical appearance of trust somebody to God. People of God, we should change our mentality. When there is a project in church, Christians need to rise up with 100,000, 500,000, 200,000. Because we serve a God that bless. We, we serve a God that favor. But when it's a project in church, you see 500, 100, 200, us Christians.
But we are coming to church every day. And we say we serve a God who blessed, a God who favor. How can you save a God that favor and you are unable to be favor? It means you are not saving that God. Your and your mentality is not yet correct with God. We need to change that mentality. We need to change that mindset. When there is a project, as a Christian, I need to vow one million. 500,000, 200,000, 100,000, because I am sowing but in the house of God. I am not sowing outside. But when you go outside, people of the world, when there is a project, you will see millions. You will see somebody who organize a birthday. They will spend more than 5 million, more than 1 million on a single birthday. But when it's a project in church, 30,000 francs is on able to come out from Christians. Are we saving the living God? Are we saving the God that blesses? Are we saving the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Isaac was a blessing. And we have studied this from the Bible. That God has never disappointed those that put their trust if our trust is in God and we are unable to achieve what we are asking for, our mindset, our mindset and our mentality is not yet according to God's word. People of God, I want us to delay that mindset, that mentality that we are poor. That mentality, that mentality that I am looking for a husband. That mentality that I am looking, I have nothing to do. If you have nothing to do, why did God create you with hands and legs? Why did God create us hands and legs? And he says in that book, in that book of Genesis, 1 verse 26, that I am your God. Blessings here on earth belongs unto us. Everything we are in need of here on earth belongs to us. Are you a Christian? Change your mentality of your mindset. Many of us as ladies, as men, we are married to second choices, not first. Our marriage is under second choice, not, not the first choice, choice, because the mentality we have has deleted us and we are looking for the second choice. Nous and that second choice, we are not even yet sure. There are still processes process process before you can meet that second choice. The Bible says La Bible declare, that our heart and our mind et nos must be completely new. It means our heart is Cela not. Que nos cœurs, est Dieu. Our feet, our souls nos âmes, must be completely new. For us to achieve the blessings of God, our heart, our soul, our spirit must be completely new so we can achieve the blessings of God. If our mindset is still thinking about things of the past, is still thinking about your offense, you will remain the same. You need to change that mentality. We need to change that mentality. Youths, it is time to go and preach the gospel. Bring souls to the kingdom of God. Preach the gospel with people that are from God. Preach the gospel with somebody that loves that Genius. Preach the gospel as a child of God. We are made out of God's image. And we are like God. If I am like God, it means God own all blessings and I own all blessings. God bless you. God bless you. Acknowledge God for what he has done. Acknowledge God for what he has done. Acknowledge God for what he has done, he will do it again. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge God.
for, for what he has done. And now let's go. The Holy Mountain Ministries is a ministry that is still growing. So please, your support for the realization of the vision and the destiny of the ministry is highly appreciated. For inquiries concerning your support for the ministry and Restoration TV, please contact this ministry's official support lines, plus 237-672-1194-10, plus 237-695-495327. God bless you for your support for the growth of God's kingdom. The Holy Mountain Ministries est un ministère qui grandit encore. Alors s'il vous plaît, votre soutien pour la réalisation de la vision et la destinée du ministère est vivement apprécié. Pour toute personne voulant soutenir le ministère et la chaîne Restauration TV, s'il vous plaît, contactez le ministère au numéro de soutien officiel suivant. Plus 237 672 11 94 10 plus 237 695 49 53 27 Que Dieu vous bénisse pour votre soutien pour l'avancement du royaume de Dieu. Restoration TV bringing to you the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Stay tuned to the word of life. Restoration TV pour vous apporter l'évangile de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ. Restez connectés à la parole de vie.